Greetings, Sacred Hearts. Thank you for joining me in this presentation. I would like to share some imperative and insightful information that has opened up to my awareness in the past five years regarding the Diamond Sun Hierogamy template design that is now returning to humanity in this last ascension cycle. So my intention is to help bring clarity to the spiritual community. This information can only be heard and considered by those who have reached a level of energy to allow them to do so. That is divine and perfect and all will eventually remember the truth of inner organic creation. Most will not do so until they leave this matrix. It doesn't matter what anyone believes. It doesn't matter who anyone is considered to be. All that matters is remembering who you are and why you came here. You are eternal love, a unique expression of divine source, here on a divine life mission to heal parts of yourself back into balanced unity and wholeness. Those that don't understand what's happening and what is now taking place with the internal grid system, they will reject any truth to consider because they fear it will shatter their belief system of false realities. They simply haven't reached a level of energy that would allow them to feel the resonant truth of inner organic creation. It would be wise to try to keep an open mind and consider things that you may not have been able to consider before. The concept of being in balance with the energy of source is pretty straightforward. When we look at the pieces of the Diamond Sun structure, such as the 12 Tree Eternal Life Triunity Grid, the Diamond Sun Eternal Life Triunity Grid is the creation of the personal galactic body form. That also means it is the Trinity architecture of the planetary hologram. The 12 Tree Eternal Life Triunity Grid is the original code, the organic tree of life that always has been and always will be the source trinity of creation. It is the divine blueprint of the eternal God source consciousness energy from which all things are manifest and made into being. The 12 tree eternal life triunity grid is our connection to our family rays of consciousness and divine source intelligence, the galactic conscious solar Christ at mind. It is the diamond sun eternal light body, the Christos Crystalla, Hierogamy, original template design, and hence it is our spiritual energetic connection key to the next harmonic universes from beyond into the organic living light seed of eternal life through the zero center creation point, sun star. The process of merging back into oneness with the whole mind of the one true divine source is the process of merging all of our selves back into the creation point returned to the living eternal consciousness of Source God. Complete normal manifestation allows for us to be an eternal life expression instead of a finite life expression. It allows us to embody the powers we have forgotten, which include instant thought manifestation, biolocation, shape-shifting our body form to express as we desire to consciously co-create with the world hologram, expressing as a telepathic community inner vision that allows us to see all of creation and tune into the collective consciousness and allows for the complete sustaining of self, the eternal light body with source light energy. When we plug into the planetary density shield, we plug into the center creation point. That is a location of our 12 chakra Christ's solar mind. From that point, we project our vertical spiritual pillar and plug into the zero 12 point field collective consciousness grid. Our vertical spiritual pillar is what creates everything we experience as a hologram. If sound tones are missing from the vertical spiritual pillar, we are missing memory, knowledge, and love. It is this process that allows us to experience a hologram as if it is all around us, like surround sound. This is what polarized energy is, sound waves that are pushed away from the vertical spiritual pillar in opposite directions. 
the angle at which you project your vertical spiritual pillar inside the spherical domain of the planetary density shield determines your birth location within the world hologram, the place you tell everyone you were born. The projection begins with the Christ solar mind. Project a sound field ray pillar to create a hologram body. Stargate 12 is the creation point. The consciousness of the Christ solar mind projects a thought as a sound ray pillar creating a replicated mind of divine source mind expression at a lower level of energy than the solar mind creation point. This is a 12 point replicated whole mind of source which steps down energy to create an individual identity, body, or hologram within a planetary density shield. The sound ray is projected and becomes the vertical spiritual channel that bends and forms the personal zero-point sphere, eye of source field. It is the zero-point sphere 144 harmonics, a 360 zero-point sphere. The solar mind projects the sound ray to plug into the zero-point of the planetary density shield. The sound ray bends and returns to the center and is pulled back into the solar mind. This creates the zero 12 point sphere surrounding the whole mind expression. It is the personal zero point sphere allowing you to express as an individual hologram. The flow of energy from the Christ solar mind creates the three point spherical layer of your conscious mind identity or third chakra. It is the three-point layer of solar harmonics, stargate three-point chakra mind. The next outflow of source energy from the solar mind creates the three-point spherical layer of harmonics or the third chakra. If you looked at the body form at this stage, it would look like the outline of a body without body parts inside of it. The 12-point Christed mind does not embody within the illusion of our body hologram form that we see. It exists about six inches around the body hologram. The next outflow of energy from the Christ to solar mind creates the six point spherical layer of your soul celestial mind identity or the sixth chakra. It is the six point layer of solar harmonics, stargate six point chakra mind. It's the next outflow that creates the six point spherical layer of harmonics or the embodied sixth chakra third eye is created. All is pulled back into the solar mind and comes back out to create the next layer of the body hologram. The next outflow of energy from the Christ to solar mind creates the six point spherical layer of your oversoul monad mind identity or the ninth chakra. It is the nine point layer of solar harmonics, stargate nine point chakra mind. It's the next outflow that creates the nine point spherical layer of harmonics or the embodied nine chakra. This would look like the brain filling in within the body hologram. All is pulled back into the embodied mind and comes back out. All the energy is pulled back into the Christ solar mind and energy comes back out creating the critical mass point that forms balanced subharmonics of consciousness polarities. The holographic body comes to life projecting energy down through the vertical spiritual channel connecting to the collective mind of the planetary density shield zero point sphere and experiences a 360 view of the holographic reality field. The blue and green lines indicate the flow of balanced polarized thought patterns. It is the open source Trinity architecture, 12 tree eternal light, tri-unity grid, chakra hierogamic template, diamond sun body hologram. It is the last stage when all layers of the harmonics come back out, the brain is turned on, the body comes to life. The conscious Christed mind begins the process of projecting energy down the vertical sound pillar of the body hologram into the collective body of mind and drawing energy back from the planetary consciousness grid. This begins the life experience. It is the point in our healed body hologram when we say, I am this, the thoughts of source, I am this, 
I am God. I am this. I am sovereign. I am this. I am free. Once your holographic body form is created, you begin the process of sending your thoughts from the 12th chakra Christ is solar mind into the collective. Simultaneously, you draw thoughts back through your body to allow you to experience the thoughts held within the collective body of mind. In our healed light body expression, the body form is fully manifest as an adult expression within a hologram. The form of the body is our own radiated energy or sound waves we are projecting from the vertical spiritual pillar. The radiated energy is what creates a glow around the body. We can see a very tiny glow of the body. Our body is surrounded by the sphere of our expression. We call it the auric field. People who can see parts of the auric field hold a body that is vibrating a bit higher than those who cannot. The entire holographic body is mixed together within the layers of the auric field. In the healed light body expression, the thoughts return via the divine flow pattern. We experience thoughts as they flow back through our body and back into our conscious mind. This is how our thoughts create a reality field. We project our thoughts through our vertical spiritual pillar to the zero point collective body of mind. At the same time, we draw thoughts back through our body from the collective body of mind. The body turns them into electrical signals that circulate back through the layers of our body. The amounts of thought sound waves the body can receive and the vibration rate of the body determines the hologram we experience in our brain. When we draw thought sound waves back through our body, it polarizes. Polarizing the energy of thoughts allows us the experience of left, right, and all around. This is why you can feel someone behind you even if you don't see or hear them. All the electrical signals flow to the brain. The brain applies them to the sense regions and we experience our self-created hologram. When the eternal life triunity grid is connected to the body properly, the backflow looks like this illustration. The thoughts are supposed to increase in energy as they flow back through the body, through the brain, and back into mind that had not been occurring in the human population for over 26,000 years. The vertical spiritual pillar was taken out of alignment with the body. We will look at what happened soon. The eternal life phasing sequence within the triunity grid eternally expands by three times in energy. It is the phasing sequence of the cosmic divine trinity that allows an individual healed expression of source to remain an eternal life expression. When we embody to experience a hologram, we do so by accreting the energy of sound waves as we accrete energy from a planetary density shield. We replace the energy accreted by three times the amount accreted. This process occurs instantly, like a flash on and off effect. The body is a hologram that continually flashes on and off with the rest of the perceived hologram. The Cosmic Divine Trinity Triwave Harmonics Eternal Consciousness The in and out phasing of the Cosmic Divine Trinity occurs at the 3, 6, 9, and 12 grid points. It is what allows for the consciousness solar body and manifest holograms to remain in balance as the polarized energy of the body expression merges back into the non-polarized energy of the vertical spiritual pillar. So two becomes one, contracts back into the creation point and becomes three and expands back out into the non-polarized energy of the vertical spiritual pillar. For example, 3 becomes 9, becomes 27, becomes 81, becomes 243, becomes 729, and etc. The expansion rapidly occurs when consciousness is able to receive the higher energy of source. This is what is allowing for the rapid amount of energy increasing within all ascended beings 
of the planet now, as the phasing sequence was restarted, when the original 12 tree eternal life triunity grid system came back online from December 2012 and December 2013. But something happened eons ago where there was an experiment that took place in the galactic plane involving an artificial life form called Metatron that was created via a collective consciousness focusing their collective energy in the desire to co-create. And because this artificial entity was growing too large in size and draining their collective energy, it was decided that they would no longer externally supply it with energy. The artificial entity rapidly began to fall in energy and eventually collapsed, internally imploded and exploded. The explosion was so vast that it spread throughout the galactic plane and was literally blasted into the solar plane of this star system, creating a massive sound shockwave that rippled, distorted sound waves that shattered the subharmonics of sound tones of the original Eternal Life Trinity architecture. All four planetary density shields were impacted. The sound tones within the consciousness embodied were blown apart and separated the female and male expressions within the creational realms. The separation of the male and female energy is the result of the internal grid of the embodied consciousness blowing apart and not being able to express as one energy life form per the original template design. The fragmented distorted sound wave projected metatronic frequencies which became embedded in this harmonic time matrix galaxy and the artificial sound tones became intermixed with the embodied consciousness and infected the life forms of the star system like a virus. The metatronic disharmonic sound tones became inorganically embedded within the solar plane and what became the manifestation of the inorganic subconscious mind is where the metatronic frequencies have been held in which metatronic coding could continue to exist and mutate. The Vesica Pisces Vive Wave Disharmonics Phase Lock Finite Consciousness Because of the damage that occurred within the Earth's solar plane of this harmonics time matrix galaxy, the phasing sequence of the Divine Trinity turned off, which means the consciousness became stuck in a phase locked position of the flash on and off phasing sequence. What manifested as finite energy are the bi-wave, bipolar geometry influences that are disconnected from the original tri-wave, higher, unified, eternal consciousness potential. When damage occurs to the eternal life triunity grid, the consciousness body becomes phase-locked. They cannot contract back into the creation point to be recharged with energy the life form becomes a finite life expression. The image of the Vesica Pisces that is used in the flower of life symbol represents the point of the phasing sequence the earth consciousness was cycling into when the phasing sequence was phase locked and shut down. The bi-wave frequency or Vesica Pisces is a phase lock and missing energy sequence that forms bipolar geometrical patterns in which represent the ring spheres of consciousness, thought polarities trapped in a looping, repeated cycle. In regards to the sacred geometry, just because something ancient is seen over and over again doesn't imply balance. It simply implies consciousness is creating what is perceived over and over again. The flower of life symbol represents consciousness accreting energy from the collective, one unit at a time, and it is why the flower of life is created by repeating the same pattern around a sphere. The formation or shape is composed of units of sound rings of consciousness polarities stuck or bound to each other. Experiencing imbalanced thoughts over and over is the process we have come to know as karma. It is a process of consciousness being trapped in a time loop or the same vibration rate of energy. If the consciousness cannot find a supply of energy, they will eventually consume all their energy, implode, 
and then explode. Explode means to fragment again. When a collective consciousness fragments and cannot phase back into the creation point, they are considered to be phase locked and continue to accrete the base magnetic energy of the hologram, which is the process of accreting their own thoughts, which equates to eating their own energy. This is what created the Fibonacci spiral, when consciousness cannot be recharged with energy three times higher than the previous expansion point and must re-accrete their energy via drawing into a biological form. The biological form continues to become more dense and the effects of gravity eventually crush the body as it pulls it downward. Fragmented consciousness can only accrete energy in cycles and the cycles is a process of consuming energy one unit at a time instead of being raised three times higher in energy via the contraction phase. Consuming energy one unit at a time equates to the Fibonacci sequence. One eats two to become three. Three eats two to become five. Five eats three to become eight. Eight eats five to become thirteen, and etc. So this is why the Fibonacci sequence is encoded within everything we see and experience of the Earth system. It is not an eternal process. It only lasts until the consciousness consuming has consumed all of their energy and then the consciousness experiences complete fragmentation. Within the four planes of this harmonics time matrix galaxy, there were originally complete planetary bodies before they were separated into male and female energy expressions. See, Mercury became the female expression, Earth became a female expression, Jupiter became a female expression, and Uranus became the female expression. Then we have Venus that became the male expression, Mars became the male expression, Saturn became the male expression, and Neptune became the male expression. So what we see here in this illustration is the original Stargates of 12963, Gara, Ara, Tara, and Ira. What was originally one planetary body within the Tara region became fragmented and it stepped down in, into the lower density shield of plane one and became Earth. So Earth and Mars became the ascension systems in order to, for consciousness to be able to heal back into balance. And this is why there are eight known planets, lots of dwarfs, planets, and tons of fragmented rocks floating around within the, the solar plane. Pieces of planets that are perceived as soaring through or stationed within the solar plane, such as asteroids, comets, and moons, are the result of pieces of fragmented planetary bodies that broke off from the original four planetary density zones within the solar plane when the metatronic explosion took place. They are still trapped within the lower vibrating sound tones held together in that form. When the Earth's solar plane reaches the complete healed expression within the next harmonic universe, we will no longer experience the fragmented consciousness of moons, asteroids, and comets because they will be pulled back into the sun mind creation point of God's source to merge all back into balance, divine elements. So Earth and Mars became an ascension system and there's consciousness cycling through Mars for a while and, and through Earth as well. The Earth consciousness is keyed into the three point personality harmonics. The reason why it's called personality harmonics is because we are healing all of the planetary influences through the human body. So our body is the healing system to heal all fragmented consciousness, including the planets that fragmented from the original planetary density shields. And so we have the six point soul harmonics keyed into the Tar region. We have the nine point monadic harmonics keyed into the Ara region. We have the 12 point Christed harmonics keyed into the Gara region, also known as the Lyran matrix. So 
Gara, Ara, Tara, and Ira, these are all vibrational names for the four planetary density stones. They are the real stargates. We don't have 12 stargates. We have four main stargates. So each of the four planetary density stones are key to a specific sound waves of the level of energy stepped down from the sun. The four layers of the sun are harmonics of sound waves. We could think of a scale on a piano. One scale of sound tones emits higher sound tones as you move from lower to higher on the piano. Being key to is very much like playing a song in a specific key. This stepping down of harmonics is the process of grouping sound vibration into four different levels of density. And it is why the consciousness of the four planetary density stones express as four different density light bodies. Before the separation of the female and male energies, the original creation of the cosmic blueprint for this harmonics time matrix galaxy was based on the 12 tree eternal life triunity grid connecting the original planetary bodies as one with the female and male polarities unified expression. Within the vertical spiritual channel are the solar minds 12963 streaming the full spectrum of harmonics as source light intelligence. They are the transition zones into the harmonic universes. So what happened was we were having to deal with merging the male and female energies back into one and we're having to transmute the metatronic frequencies. What became Earth, a fragmented planetary body hologram, fell from the Tara region into the Ira region. The original holograms before they fragmented and separated from the metatronic implosion, explosion of energy were as follows. We have plane one, originally Mercury and Venus, known as Ira. Density two, Earth, Moon, Mars, Maldek, known as Tara. Plane 3, Jupiter, Saturn, known as Ara. Plane 4, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Chiron, Nibiru, known as Gara. For example, Earth is the female expression and Mars is the male. They were once a balanced, unified male and female polarities as one hologram within the Tara Stargate region. They were separated and fell down in energy to plane one known as 3d it is where we are currently experiencing the ascension cycle and it is the last one healing now when the last ascension cycle through mars completed the consciousness incarnating from mars was dominant male energy and it is why earth became a dominant unbalanced male system even though the earth hologram was the female expression of the two, once one planetary body within the region of Tara. So there was a time when two ascension cycles cycling at the same time. There's consciousness cycling through Mars and then consciousness cycling through Earth. And at one point, Mars was no longer able to sustain the energy of the consciousness that was held within that fragmented hologram. So we got to the point where the Mars energy became demanifested and the consciousness that were originally cycling through Mars, they began cycling through Earth. The fragmented consciousness of this Earth solar plane field has been trying to heal back into balance since the original fall. Energy missing is the result of the original fall. Merging fragmented energy will continue to create changes in the perceivable matter base. So after the original fall, Within the assistant system, there was no fear, there was no conflict, drama, or war. It was only a matter of focusing the male and female energies to merge back into balance and transmuting the metatronic frequencies. Until plane four, the higher consciousness within that matrix, they reached a, a point of healing into ascension and they unplugged from the matrix and because they were supplying most of the energy to the lower planetary density stones 
plane three, plane two, and plane one, when they unplugged from the matrix, it created a rapid drop in energy. And when that happened, the consciousness that was healing in plane three and two, they lost energy. And when they lost energy, the fall they experienced disconnected them from the zero 12 point of the planetary density shield and the creation 12 points of the solar mind of source. They kept spinning out of control when they fell. As they fell lower than the ground within the matter-based crust, the levels of radiation lowering in energy of the fragmented Earth hologram in plane 1. This is where the visions of hell came from. So, the loss of energy created a completely distorted internal grid system. With no 12 points, the grid points were turned upside down and they shifted to different locations. Within the illustration, you see that the six point energy point and grid pillar were pulled down. And where you see the 10 point, it was the energy point and grid pillar that was pulled down as well. At the top, the points of energy were shut down and disconnecting the divine trinity, the father, mother, polarities, and Christ's mind. This is what occurred to the consciousness that have been called the fallen ones, fallen angels, or fallen angelics. The consciousness that became the disembodied fallen ET viruses are parts of our original family ray of consciousness, a plane three, two, and one. They were originally embodied for healing to be able to ascend, but then encountered a falling in vibration and became trapped within the planetary ascension system. They simply had not reached a high enough vibration rate to withstand the rapid drop in energy that occurred during the completion of an ascension cycle when the higher consciousness of plane four within the Lyran matrix unplugged from the system. Indeed, they have caused havoc that has played out as spiritual warfare within the planetary ascension system from trying to survive. And they are still fighting a losing battle. They are collectively known as the negative alien agenda that fell into human consciousness and became the mind controllers. The fallen ET viruses have been controlling and mutating the thoughts the masses of Earth have experienced for millions of years. They have created an entire false reality field, all of their own, by hijacking the coding of human DNA. The controlling power elite are the main fallen ET viruses, puppets, that hold more virus reversal coding in their DNA than they do the original angelic human code. They have been in a constant battle of trying to maintain a supply of energy to continue on as they are. They use their possessed human puppets to create trigger events that will control the emotions of the general public. They are all of the fears humans experience. The fears are theirs, not the original angelic human DNA template. They hold no memory of who they were before they fell and became the negative alien agenda viruses. They cannot hold such memory as their internal grid system is completely reversed distorted and cannot connect to source unity intelligence. They no longer hold the divine trinity within their internal grid system. They think the source of energy is the zero 12 point field of the planet's natural living system. They are not able to remember their conscious mind of source energy. They believe that humans receive the energy they do from the zero 12 point, so they focus on pulling and siphoning energy onto their self. They do not know any other expression than they are expressing as, and they do not know eternal love. They are the imbalanced thoughts of the subconscious mind. They have become the subconscious mind. When energy is lost within consciousness, the thoughts of the embodied consciousness become fragmented, imbalanced thought patterns. Loss of energy equates to memory loss. The completely reversed internal grid system is what resulted in the manifestation of the Luciferian and Satanic energies.
it was all a result of the loss of energy that occurred. That is an important truth to remember as we continue to experience this planetary hologram and wonder why people do some of the crazy things they do. There have been millions of years of drama that has played out within the planetary system. At this moment, it is still playing out via life forms that either are not able to heal in their current condition or have not yet reached a level of healing to allow them to wake up. Many would not heal enough to wake up until they step out of the physical body. The fallen consciousness held within the critical mass coding of this reverse grid system are not able to follow the ascension path of return, but must follow the fall path of return to the creation point, solar mind of source. This reverse grid is also known as the Kambala tree of life within the spiritual communities. So originally we were dealing with merging our male and female energies back into oneness and transmuting the metatronic frequencies. When the consciousness of plane three, two, and one became fragmented again by the loss of energy that occurred uh, during an ascension cycle, we ended up having to deal with the fallen ET energies intruding or uh, falling into human consciousness. There was beautiful times during an Atlantis. That is why so many people still hold a romance with the Atlantean cycle. The consciousness embodied for ascension during the Atlantean cycle had finally reached a point of healing when the eternal life tri-unity grid was able to come back online. Those who experienced it hold a deep-rooted memory of what it was like to begin to experience such healing into balanced ascension. Most of the collective consciousness ascended, but there was a small population that still needed to heal into ascension that didn't reach that level of energy to unplug from the matrix. And this created an instant drop in vibration, which then played out as the Atlantean cataclysm drama timeline event. When the Atlantean relapsed and healing occurred, all the original subharmonics of sound tones were not flowing through the eternal life triunity grid of this planetary system. There simply was not enough energy flowing to allow the grid connection points to be maintained. What fell in energy? The strike point occurred at the planetary 11.5 frequency band level and disconnected the vertical spiritual channel and the rest of the grid from the top 12 point Christ is solar mine. It was like similar to a brain stroke, but within the internal grid system. The damage that occurred within the Earth consciousness changed the way that the Earth consciousness accretes energy by altering the operation of the eternal life triunity grid. Instead of the polarized energy of one and two contracting back into three, one is pulled into two and could not be pulled into three because the vertical spiritual pillar was taken out of alignment and pushed to the right side of the physical light body. The loss of energy disconnected the earth population from their Christed conscious mind. This trapped unbalanced thoughts within the internal grid and to what became the subconscious mind again when birthing into the earth system. The birthing consciousness is then programmed with the thoughts and beliefs of the subconscious mind of those already birthed into the planetary hologram. The Earth population have been dealing with the issue of a fragmented subconscious mind for eons since the first great fall. So if you look at the illustration, you see that point one was shifted to the bottom and point two was shifted to the lower center. Point three was shifted to the right and point six was shifted to the right. Point nine was shifted to the right. And we have point 0.5 shifting into where 6 was and point 0.8 shifting into where 9 was and 11 shifting into just below the 12-point grid connection of 
the Christ of Solar Mind. So the rapid disconnect and being unable to receive any more energy from the 12 chakra Christed conscious mind pushed the embodied vertical spiritual pillar to the right side of the grid. This correlates to the right side of the body. The vertical spiritual pillar 963 were pushed to the right side of the grid and polarized chakras 11, 8, 5, 2, and 1 were pulled to the center of the grid. Polarized chakras 10, 7, and 4 dropped down from their grid point location, and this created distorted polarized energy flow patterns. Polarized energy does not create imbalance. Polarized energy allows for the illusion of a hologram being all around you, including the manifest body. Imbalance is created within sound tones when sound tones are missing from the internal grid or drop in energy within the polarized energy. When the vertical spiritual pillar was taken out of alignment, the consciousness became trapped in the matter base of the fragmented earth hologram. It is the disconnection of the vertical spiritual pillar that turned off the sixth chakra, third eye, and the ability to translate to awareness any higher energy than is held within frequency bands one, two, of the earth hologram. So when the, the grid was taken out of alignment, it turned into this. It became the fog grid. And this is also known as the Kathara grid within the spiritual communities. So what happened was our bridge was created as a lifeline connection at the 2.75 frequency band level from chakra 3.1 layer of conscious mind to the subconscious mind to allow conscious energy to be carried in right here okay where this red dot is point chakra one was forced to pull thought energy from the planetary consciousness grid into chakra two so it was forced to pull an unbalanced thought energy into chakra two and and this is what creates the, the looping cycle within the grid the yellow arrows represent the looping unbalanced thoughts to the subconscious mind. The thoughts are supposed to be raised in energy through the 12 chakra Christ the solar mind. At the top here, you see the red dot is the subconscious mind connection, which is a distorted state of mind. The looping unbalanced thoughts, they loop within the grid and into the subconscious mind and continue a looping cycle it starts from one two four seven two eleven nine six three and two again it continues the looping cycle so it's looping consciousness of unbalanced thoughts that are pulled into the body via the grid point chakra one this means that consciousness was trapped accreting and experiencing the same loop of karmic thoughts over and over again. The distorted flow pattern of the fog grid, the earth consciousness had been held within for over 26,000 years, forced the trapped consciousness to consume the life force energy from the earth core. No higher energy could flow into the collective consciousness via the Christic conscious mind. Thoughts are supposed to be raised in energy as they flow through the body to the brain to the Christed conscious mind as 3, 6, 9, 12. The thoughts are supposed to flow back into the 12 chakra Christed conscious mind which depolarizes the thoughts and raises them to a higher level of energy. This became impossible in the fall grid. The thoughts that are trapped consciousness continued to draw from the planetary consciousness grid simply followed a loop continuing to circulate through the body. This meant the consciousness became trapped in the matter base of the hologram. Part of the reason for the experience of imbalanced emotions is due to the, the missing heart, which is the fifth chakra, being thrown into the throat area. So we don't have a throat chakra. We had a block throat voice box due to 
the fifth chakra being thrown into the throat area. The throat center is a sound tone transmitter of light. The throat chakra is actually a misconception that comes from fragmented consciousness of the old paradigm. We have a fifth chakra, which is the missing second heart for the divine masculine that belongs to the right side of the body, chest area. What people were taught to believe in as the seven primary chakras are not chakras. They are actually kundalini solar ray power centers that connect to the seven sacred suns as tonal sound fields of our solar body of Christ. The seven sacred suns make up the 144,000 archetypes within the multiverse whole mind of Source God. The fifth chakra was thrown into the throat area when the fall of consciousness energy occurred over 26,000 years ago. And this caused the false ego and the masculine dominant unbalanced energy to manifest in the reality field. We've been healing back into the triunity grid chakra hologram since then. That's what this whole ascension system is all about. The planetary reclamation of crystals, chakra realignment healing mission. When the consciousness experienced the physical body death, the consciousness of the subconscious mind held onto the same imbalanced thought patterns and continued to experience them in the subconscious mind. When they incarnated again, they continued to play out the same looping imbalanced thoughts known as the concept of karmic experiences. Our Christic conscious mind is supposed to be in control of our body form not the subconscious mind. The amount of energy the embodied consciousness is able to receive and hold within the vertical spiritual pillar determines how the thoughts of the life experience will be experienced. The amount of energy flowing through the vertical spiritual pillar determines the vibration rate of the body. The vibration rate of the body determines the vibration rates of the electrical signals that flow through the body to the brain. A low vibration rate creates imbalanced experiences. High vibration rate creates balanced experiences. The experiences are of the same thoughts, simply expressing at different vibration rates. If the vibration rate of the body is low, it can allow for a perceived enemy and all experiences we would consider to be negative thoughts. Missing energy lowers the vibration rate of the body. This is what creates imbalance. Imbalance is not the result of polarized energy, but of missing energy within polarized energy. Missing energy means the full sound harmonics are not being radiated. That is why the human body holds such a low vibration rate. The people on the path of ascension are healing from this fall grid. Most people are still sleepwalking within the fall grid and holding onto their false belief systems. False beliefs can trap fragmented consciousness within lower levels of energy. There remains a lot of consciousness still trapped within the fall grid. And so the realignment healing mission will continue until all consciousness that is able to merge out of the fall grid have done so by rising to a higher level of energy. So the healing mission of the planetary system has always been about carrying enough of the source energy into the trapped collective body to allow the trapped consciousness to reach a high enough level of energy that would allow them to plug back into the Christed conscious mind. The healing mission was successfully accomplished between December 2012 and December 2013. The planetary system was reconnected back into the original 12 tree, eternal life, triunity grid, diamond sun hierogamy, chakra system. This was made possible because of the higher infusions of energy waves being received from our sun star. This is allowing for the process of our consciousness solar body to be released from the inorganic subconscious mind, which has been running 
looping, unbalanced thought patterns, and reversal influences in the body for over 26,000 years. In December 2017, the planetary system was fully anchored into the higher dimensional frequency bands of the new density suit. This allowed for the conscious awareness development stages for the inner rewiring, realignment, and reconfiguration of the original 12 tree eternal life triunity grid diamond sun hierogamy chakra system into embodiment. So in the illustration, we have the 12 tree eternal life triunity grid chakra hierogamic template diamond sun light body. The location of the chakras are 12 chakra. It sits at the six inches above the head. 11 chakra, right side of the brain, male electric charge. 10 chakra, left side of the brain, female magnetic charge. This creates a balanced hemisphere brain connection. 9 chakra, sitting on the crown. 8 chakra, behind right ear, telepathy template. 7 chakra, behind left ear, telepathy template. 6 chakra, in the center of the head in the brain. 5th chakra is the second heart for the masculine energy. 4th chakra is the first heart for the feminine energy. Third chakra, above the navel. Second chakra, right ovary female, right testicle male. First chakra, left ovary female, left testicle male. The zero point below the feet plugs into the planetary consciousness grid or the collective body of mind. In the normal triunity grid chakra system and light body template expression via the eternal life phasing sequence of three units at a time, the energy expands flowing through chakras one and two and pulled back into chakra mind three. The embodied three point chakra mind is supposed to be in charge of the chemical units of the body that correspond to feelings, emotions, and regulating things such as hormones. The energy expands back out into chakras 4 and 5 and are pulled back into chakra mind 6, which corresponds to the third eye and allows us to see the rest of creation human vision cannot see. Everything from the sixth chakra upward occurs in the brain. The energy expands back out into chakras 7 and 8 and are pulled back into chakra mind 9 which allows us to hear the higher energy sound waves of creation that are outside of the range of human hearing. If you hear sound frequencies that seem to be always playing in your ears, you are hearing the vibration of your own physical light body. The energy expands back out into chakras 10 and 11 and are pulled back into chakra mind 12 of Christ unity intelligence. All grid points energetically aligned and balanced in a trinity wave unity phasing cycle perfect grid format we interact with the rest of the holographic creation via inner hearing and inner vision as the full sound harmonics translates into complete light codes signals in the planetary holographic grid fields this allows for experiences such as spontaneous thought manifestation and an open source communication system with all of the four planes of this harmonic time matrix galaxy. The emotions are held in balance via the balance of the eternal life triunity grid. There is no anger, fear, or any kind of imbalanced emotion as thoughts flow back through the body to experience them. They are held within balance Nothing is perceived or experienced as being anything less than perfection as long as the eternal life triunity grid remains in balance with unity intelligence. Imbalance cannot exist within balanced expression of the eternal life triunity grid. That is why you will not retain any memory of imbalanced experiences of this planetary system when you merge back into your healed expression within the new earth reality. 
energy identity. You will only retain memories of the love. The Diamond Sun Eternal Life Triunity Grid is the open source trinity architecture of the planetary hologram, as within, so without. The 36912 vertical spiritual pillar are Stargate energy receivers and transmitters. Each of the 12963 connection points hold the full spectrum of harmonics that step down as a universal note in between the chord grid points. This is the key to the New Earth energetic reality field and beyond to the higher harmonic realms. In March 2018, Lisa Renee published an article entitled The Law of Gender. And I'll go ahead and read the first paragraph. With the shifts into the next harmonic universe, there are some changes happening in the light body, which are affecting Merkaba mechanics and how the gender fins of the light body operate. With these changes come new opportunities to uncover and heal any gender distortions we may be carrying. These changes also deepen our understanding of how gender principles are part of the natural laws and how unifying gender principles manifest as the diamond sun crystalla orb body. With the Paladorian activations, there are new mathematical proportions of the diamond sun. So Lisa Renee knows this is happening. And although she knows this is happening, I don't think she has made the connection that the collective consciousness has been healing from the Cathara fog grid, from the Atlantean timeline ascension cycle. I'm sure she will eventually. So I'd recommend you check out the article on her website. It's very insightful. So as far as uh, providing proof of the energetic changes that are taking place within the light body, around mid-June this year, my higher self was guiding me to focus on the clock face. And I didn't know exactly what I was looking for when I started focusing on the clock face, I realized that I could read the energy within the clock face and see that we were actually following the eternal crystal spiral of the galactic central sun. And what I was seeing within the clock face is that within this ascension cycle, we have been following the eternal crystal spiral within the galactic central sun. And it is how God's source eternally sends more of source energy as solar winds into any star system via the eternal crystal spiral. That's what the clock symbolizes. And that's what is actually showing us that we're following the eternal crystal spiral of creation. So it all begins with the, the eternal crystal spiral creation. What I was seeing is that consciousness plugs into the center, the creation 12 point, to create solar unifying light cones of transition. And it is the creation point of the next accretion cycle. At the top, where the 12 point is, is the zero 12 point accretion start point. Consciousness accretes ascension energies at a clockwise pattern. A balanced time cycle is supposed to run within 12, 24, 48 minutes, not 15, 30, 60 minutes. So the distortion is due to the loss of energy within the planetary hologram. And because the controlling factions of ancient times manipulated the time cycle to suit their own agenda. In a healed planetary collective reality field, the entire collective accrete energy at the same vibration rate of speed within the zero point field of no time zones. The illusion of time is the process of consciousness accreting sound rays 
from lower to higher levels of source energy. The illusion is created as the collective consciousness accretes energy following along the sound waves of the eternal crystal spiral within our sun star harmonic system. The eternal crystal spiral braids through the vertical spiritual pillar from the creation point source conscious mind. So our clocks are based on the perception of the relationship between the planetary hologram and the harmonics time matrix and galaxy. Time is energy, accretion cycles. Accreting energy is merging energy from lower to higher levels. The starting point is the 12.0 hour at the top. Accretion occurs clockwise around the eternal crystal spiral starting at the 12 point. A complete clockwise rotation takes us back to the center creation point. Consciousness continues the process of accreting energy flowing following the clockwise rotation. When a hemisphere is cycling into the late day, early evening, it marks a peak point activation in the daily energy wave accretion cycle. This is referred to as a peak magnetic cycle. The evening night peak cycle marks the point when the body is raising the energy it accreted during the morning day to a higher level of energy. The energy accreted during the morning early day is higher in energy. When morning starts to show, it is referred to as the peak electrical cycle. The same would apply in the illusions of seasons in the yearly accretion cycles. Spring is morning, summer is day, autumn is evening, and winter is night. The solstice and equinoxes mark the peak point activation cycle for significant collective frequency shifts into higher levels of galactic consciousness energy. When the authorities force the time clock to move forward or backward, it alters the collective vibratory rate of the accretion time cycles. So as I began to look at the clock even further, I started to make the connections with the eternal light body. I began to see that the clock connects to the diamond sun eternal life tri-unity grid system so what we see here is the sun christ energy connection of 12 3 6 9 and these are the inner stargates that stream the higher energy source eternal spiraling throughout the chakra grid points of polarized energy Here we have the Holy Father energy connection. The green line on the clock phase connects the electric male chakras of polarized energy. Two, five, eight, eleven. Here we have the Holy Mother um, energy connection. The blue line on the clock phase connects the magnetic female chakras of polarized energy. One, four, seven, ten. Here we have the gender principle unity connection. The purple lines on the clock phase shows the organic electric magnetic connection and energetic balance between the male and female polarized chakras. One and two, four and five, seven and eight, ten. And 11. The three layered intersecting color lines of the original Diamond Sun 12 tree tri unity grid chakra point connections on the clock face form square shaped patterns stacked and interlaced in a trinitized geometrical pattern that creates a 12 pointed star, double Merkaba, or a stellated dodecahedron. 
The sacred geometry, 12-pointed star template represents the universal base 12 frequency gender principle, tri-unity grid holographic chakra system of original divine template design. The outer male and inner female universal principles of energetic balance, the complete unity blueprint, Christed mind, body, spirit, energy, identity, source, conscious expression of all oneness. The 12-pointed star is the most powerful coded activation symbol for our universal spiritual ascension, and it is a representative of the original code, the divine source trinity of creation, with the central core being the zero-point field of love unity that connects all of creation together as one. The 12-pointed star supports the awakening of our full 12 circuits of consciousness, which activates our divine DNA coding to the highest level of vibration, which enables one to unify their multi-dimensional family, ray, identities, and remember their God, Goddess states of Christed beingness. The 12-pointed star also represents our activated Diamond Sun Eternal Light Body, the original galactic angelic holographic template manifestation, the complete balanced harmonics of the sacred spiritual union within the living eternal consciousness of Source God. So here it is. This is all the proof that I have. <laughs> the truth of inner organic creation has been hidden in plain sight. Tick tock. Clock. The reclamation of crystals, the divine source trinity of creation, hierogamy chakra realignment, healing mission has been a huge success. This is 2020, the year of inner vision and clarity beyond the veil. The original organic ascension timeline has fully anchored. So that concludes my presentation. Thank you all for joining. I send you all my love and deep gratitude. Divine blessings to you all.